Okay, what I'd like to show you guys how to do is how to graph system equations using the intercepts. If you guys look at these two equations, my previous example, I showed you guys how to solve using the y-intercept by actually solving for y. On this problem, it might be a little more difficult. You can still solve for y, but let's say I want to maybe take a, a different route. I maybe want to say, all right, well, I don't want to solve for y. I'd much rather just find the two intercepts and then graph that way. So we're going to find the intercepts. We're going to see what our actual answer is, and then um, we'll just go and see if we can estimate maybe a final solution. So if I want to use the intercepts, I'm going to have to solve for my x-intercept and my y-intercept. To solve for the x-intercept, we know that say when this x-intercept, our y equals 0. So I'll say 9x minus 2 times 0 equals 11. And then when I solve for my y-intercept, I know that x is going to equal 0. Okay, so therefore, that's how you're going to solve those two intercepts. Then now it's simply just doing the math. So you have 9x equal to 11, and here you have negative 2y equal to 11. Because obviously the zeros are going to cancel out each one of those numbers. I divide by 9, divide by 9, x equals 11 ninths over here, y equals a negative, negative 11 halves. Now again, I told you guys in the last example, it gets a little difficult to understand how to graph an improper fraction. If you just go ahead and convert it to a mixed number, you can go ahead and get away with an easy sketch. So, I'm going to graph this. My x-intercept is um, 9 over 11. So, 9 goes into, to change this to a mixed number would be 1 and 2 ninths. So, I go over 1 and then roughly 2 ninths is not going to be that far. It'll be somewhere around there. And then here, my y-intercept is that can be converted to um, 2 goes into 2 goes into 11, negative 5, 5 times with 1 half. So I go down 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and go halfway. So now I see those are my two, those are my two intercepts. All you guys simply got to do now, uh, well, I'll do it that way, is just connect your two points. Okay? Then for here, you're going to do the same process, x-intercept, y-intercept. For the x-intercept, our y equals 0. And for our y-intercept, our x equals 0. Okay, over here, we have 5x equals 13. Over here, we have 4y equals 13. Divide by 5, divide by 5 x equals 13 over 5, which reduced to a mixed number would be 2 and 3 fifths. Over here, reduce this to y equals, or divide by 4, divide by 4, y equals 13 over 4, which also equals 3 and 1 fourth. So find this mixed number, I go to x, which is 2 and 3 fifths, so I go over 2, and then 3 fifths would be roughly somewhere around there. And then 3 and 1 fourth, I go up. 1, 2, 3 and 1 fourth, roughly there. Connect my two points. And like I said, guys, I understand my graph. I'm working with a non-gridded paper, so it's not going to be exact. Um, but for here, if I just wanted to go ahead and estimate um, estimate this point, I'd probably say, um, well, actually, I'm not going to give you an estimation. The most important thing I want to get to you guys, um, make you understand, because we will be doing in later videos, how to find this exact point using graphing and also using um, substitution elimination. But if you guys can understand how to graph using your y-intercept method, that's a very important point. All right, so that's how you graph the system of equations using the intercepts.